Hi, I'm Chris Wall, Chief Technologist at Rubrik, and welcome back to another Engineering Deep Dive. So Harshad, you were formerly a Senior Software Engineer Consultant at Data Domain. I'm curious what lessons did you learn while you were there, and also how do you approach cloud integration differently at Rubrik than you did at Data Domain? Data Domain by itself was an appliance. It did not have any data management capabilities of its own. It did not provide lifecycle or data management of its own. It relied on the other backups of the products to, to provide that complete ecosystem. The market needs today are that customers are looking for a complete integrated solutions. Mm. They want an ease of use in managing the data, the life cycle completely. Rubric from that perspective, it, cons it realized all these needs in the market and it was designed ground up to address those needs. So tell me how that fed into the architecture for Rubric. Right, so, so Rubric is, is a very modular and extensible architecture. So for example, Rubric as a product platform can be delivered in multiple form factors. So for example, uh, like to implement a cloud additional uh, features, uh, it was so easy to add support for additional cloud vendors by simply extending the original cloud architecture. Now that makes sense, because cloud is top of mind for pretty much everybody out there in the world of IT, and Rubrik was purpose-built for cloud in mind, right? Right. So how do we actually enable integration with archiving our data into a cloud provider? Rubrik provided an SLA-based policy-driven approach where your cloud archival is, is, is interwoven into your SLA policy. When you set up your SLA policy, at that time you have to specify what archival policy you want to apply, what your archival cloud target is. And once you've specified it, Rubrik takes care of it all. And what about concerns about the efficiency of moving the data, not only into the archive, but also back when you try to recover you know, pieces of data or whole virtual machines? Correct, so, so Rubrik, for example, in the backup part, we provide data efficiency by uh, deduplication, by by taking the incremental snapshots, and the same methodology applies when sending the data to the cloud. Okay. We don't send the full snapshot every time, so every new snapshot you're sending is, is an incremental over the, over the pre, uh, previous snapshot, so that pro, and the data is always sent out compressed, so that provides you both the storage and network efficiency as you are archiving data into the cloud. We do apply heuristics to make sure that the, the chains are managed appropriately after the snapshots that we put in the cloud. So let's tease apart the recovery piece, because I know customers are already really enjoy the global predictive search that can span across the appliance, the cloud version, or the archive to find their data. Every snapshot, irrespective of its location, we index that, and we maintain the index for every snapshot, and your index is present locally. Mm -hmm. So we are able to provide customer ability to browse the snapshots even if they are sitting in the cloud, and then simply through the UI select that I want to download these files. Well, let's pivot a little bit now that we've covered putting data in and out of clouds and talk about disaster recovery. Kind of lead me through that process and what you think is inter interesting about Rubrik when it comes to DR. So all the, all the data we put in the cloud, we make sure that the data is self-describing, it's complete by itself. What I mean by that is that we put the necessary metadata to go along with that, that describes what that snapshot is, what VM, or what protected object it maps to, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So that in the, in the unfortunate event that, that if a customer loses the, the original rubric cluster which, which had archived that data, the customer still has ability to bring in a new rubric cluster and from that map it to this archival location and perform the recovery operation and get access back to all the data that was sitting in that archival location. So we're always backing ourselves up by way of archiving the data anyways. Exactly, right. And also the recovery means that what we do is that when you bring in a new rubric cluster and say, hey, I want to reconnect to my, my existing archival location in the cloud, we perform the necessary metadata recovery. We rebuild that metadata locally so that you have the same view of all the data that is sitting in the cloud. Now you can pick and choose and you can download and restore whichever snapshots or file you want to restore later on. Now, now when it comes to public cloud though, I'm wearing my tinfoil hat just a bit because I worry about security. Obviously I'm putting my data into someone else's environment, data center, what have you. So how does Rubrik handle encrypting and protecting the data that's going into someone else's cloud environment? So first let me say that any data that leaves Rubrik system is always encrypted. Mm -hmm. 
right? And we provide encryption both on the wire by using the, the secure protocol, as well as the data always, it's also always encrypted. So depending on the cloud provider or your archival target, if your cloud provider supports their own encryption, client-side encryption, so for example, with AWS, their SDK provides for a client-side encryption, we make use of that encryption and, and send the data encrypted to the client. For other uh, cloud vendors who do not provide native encryption through their SDK, we have built our own encryption wrapper so that we encrypt the data and we send that encrypted data out. So I guess kind of wrapping things up, a lot of customers that I work with tell me that they really love the cloud integration with Rubrik. It's one of the major reasons that they, they go with the product. I guess I'm kind of curious, why is it so difficult for everyone to start consuming cloud resources and integrate their product with public cloud? So for a lot of uh, uh, vendors, it might be because they had not originally integrated the cloud into their architecture mm -hmm. design, and to make it happen as an add-on brings in lots of different challenges. At Rubrik, because we were cons we considered cloud from day one, we were able to, to integrate and work with it. Also, we design our architecture in such a layered manner that we are able to add the new targets very easily by more in a plug-in model. We didn't have to redesign uh, our architecture to fit the new needs. Sure, you're not having to bolt it on later or do any kind of backwards refactoring or anything exactly. like that. Exactly. Got it. Well, Harshad, thank you very much for your time, and thank you for watching another Engineering Deep Dive. <laughs>